Greetings, everybody. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show, a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So welcome here to Prog Monster. So tonight we're doing a look back at a classic rock album that I've chosen, and that's this one currently in my playlist in the top five, uh, Clutching at Straws. Excellent album. Probably their heaviest, I think. It's also... I think will end up being my favorite album by them. Um, it's kind of got a bit dark matter to it. A really strong album though. Um, this this kind of reminds me a bit of um, IQ's Dark Matter because they both feel that darkness. I mean, they don't really sound anything alike, but it, it just that's it's the same kind of effect that I get from this one that I got from that one. I really like this a lot. Um, so it was released on June the 22nd, 1987 uh, in the Westside Studios in London, England. About 52 minutes for the CD and about 49 minutes plus for the LP. Um, also on EMI label and Chris Kimsey uh, produced the album. Appearing, Fish on vocals, Steve Rothery on guitars, Mark Kelly on keyboards, Pete Trey Waves on bass and backing vocals, Ian Mosley on drums. Additional musicians include Tessa Niles doing backing vocals on the time of the night, uh, the time of the night, and the late straw. And then Chris Kimsey uh, doing backing vocals on Incommunicado. And then you got John Cavanaugh um, doing the voice of Doctor Finley on the Torch song. So there are quite a few tracks in, on here, about 11, I think there's 11, yeah, 11 total. All of them are really good. Some of them I like a little bit more. The yeah, overall feel, the album is very, very keyboard oriented, I think. Um, but again, Fish's vocals are, domin are the dominant factor here. There's some good guitar, there's some great bass, there's some, some uh, excellent drumming. But to be honest with you, I think the vocals dominate the album quite a bit. And the story is the, the main thing. This is a little bit of a concept, I think. So you've got Warm, Wet Circle. Some really catchy keyboards on this particular track. The hook is... And they're, like, really hooky. They just really catch you and bring you in. Uh, and Fish's vocals are strong, very emotional, as is most of this album, very emotional. The next song that I really quite like is the third song, which is That Time of Night. Um, or short straw, secondary part of the song. It's kind of quiet, solo part to open, a quiet with a solo part to open, uh, some very distinct, distinctive and great melodies on this particular track. Um, almost, uh, almost Gabriel-like here. His voice is very Gabriel-like in its content and force of putting it out there. Even sounds a little bit like them at, at points as well. It's quite a heavy track with some quiet interludes. I like this track. It's probably my favorite on the album. Although I do like White Russian, which is another really catchy song. Heavy, um, catchy riff. The vocals are fantastic here. I love it. I think it's uh, one of their better vocal songs for this album. Um... The Torch song is the, is the one. Uh, well, Incommunicado, I like that because very distinctive. Um, his voice is very forward on that particular track. And then you got Torch, so the Torch song. Very melodic, an excellent melody. And then uh, the other one I like is Sugar Mice. This is a pretty heavy track. Uh, you know, Marillion, this album that they put out here, pretty heavy for Marillion. Oh, somebody's doing a burnout outside. <laughs> Yeah, so excellent, excellent uh, album. Um, if you're breaking into Marillion or you're thinking about getting into Marillion, I highly recommend this album, especially if you're a person that leans a little bit more towards heavier progressive rock. I think you'll like this one better uh, than the predecessors, which I like quite a bit as well, but I think this one's the heaviest. So excellent album. Give it a listen. Uh, let me know what you think. You can make your comments about the album in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. That's much appreciated. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss next Monday night's look back at a classic rock album. Uh, today's featured Marillion, Clutching at Straws from 1987. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. We will see you soon. Take care and have a good night. Goodbye.